sorry, I'm not sure if this is working or not. So, wow, the lighting is very strange. <laughs> very strange here. Hold on one second. Oh, dear. I can do this while I'm live? Wow, look at, look at these fun options I've never had before. Mm. Nope, that's that's just not gonna that's not that's not gonna do it. Don't want that. I don't want that. Get off. <laughs> You're probably all listening to me like, what is she doing? Oh, goodness. I have no idea how to go back. Hi, everybody. I'm trying to figure out how to play with the lighting because I don't know about what it looks like on your end. I'm doing this on my phone. I never use my phone. I always use my iPad. Hi, Catherine. Welcome. Thank you for being here all the way from Magical Ireland. Appreciate that. Jillian, yes, third time is the charm, isn't it? Um, but how does the quality of the sound, I can't use a microphone with this, um, and how does the quality look as far as lighting goes? Because it's looking very dark for me. Uh, and I'm I'm not quite sure why. And I'm, I really don't want to mess with too much. I don't think it did anything. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so maybe it's just my phone on my end. I apologize, everybody. This is so silly. <laughs> Robin, welcome. Angie, welcome, gorgeous. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna do my best. This is the third time. Marianne, welcome. Third time I am trying to go live today, so definitely some quirky stuff happening and whatever, I'm going to roll with it and just, you know, have fun. So it is not my normal time to be doing Moon Day, as most of you know this. Um, we're having Moon Day on Tuesday. Gorgeous Angelo, welcome, lovely. Carmela, welcome. Um, so uh, how this works for those of you who are new. Um, also, I cannot share this and I don't even want to attempt to usually I do that for my phone because I will knowing myself mess something else up. So I'm going to leave it alone. But if anybody else wants to share this, please feel free to do so. Appreciate you. Um, and you look great. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to see this back and be like, oh, okay, it was good. You know, it's all like really foggy, cloudy. And I thought maybe I touched uh, like one of those filters or something, but, but I've, I'm rolling with it. <laughs> okay, so normally I do these on Mondays, but yesterday, my Mondays have been incredibly busy lately, so I'm doing this today, not my normal time. I appreciate all of you who are able to tune in with me right now. The way this works is I bring forward a message of guidance and insight for all of us as a collective. These are not individualized readings that I'm doing here for everyone today. It's an overall message for us all for the energy of this week. This is going to be a reading for the week of June 19th, 2023. So it doesn't matter when you're watching this, if you're watching live, if you're watching this on the replay, you know, you are here in divine timing. And that means that even if it's months from now, if you hear this message, it's because there's something that's going to align with you at that time as you most need to hear it. All right. So I do offer personal private readings. If you're interested, you can book one with me uh, by sending me a private message, or you can go over to my website and check out the many different readings that I have available. Um, or again, we can, you can message me to discuss it. My website is www.magicalme.com and it is magic with the CK. So uh, with that said, this reading is going to focus on what we all most need to know moving into the energy. Having this awareness really gives us a power or an added bonus to kind of work harmoniously and flow with the energy versus just being unaware and kind of just, you know, maybe resisting any energy that's coming forward and just kind of getting maybe battered about even by it. Hi, Bridget. Welcome, lovely. Thank you, Jillian. Appreciate that. Um, so these messages really help just to give us that awareness and you know, knowledge is power and we can use that to the best of our abilities and working again more harmoniously with this energy. So with that said, before I go into the reading news and announcements, um, I just want to let everybody know that my monthly tarot scopes and monthly love stories for the zodiac signs are up and available on my website. For the month of June, I've only gotten on the Zodiac, I've been going through the Zodiac wheel. I think I've started with Gemini. I just posted Capricorn. I'm trying like crazy to get the rest of them up before the end of this week.
week. Um, so, you know, just bear with me. I'm doing my best. If you're interested, though, there are quite a few of them up already. And it can be for your sun, moon, rising, and for the love stories, even for your Venus sign. So, again, if you go over to my website, check out my shop, you will see all the different offers that are up and available. Um, let me see. I do have a current Venus in love reading that I'm offering as well. Since uh, Venus entered the sign of Leo in the beginning of the month, it has brought on an extraordinary opportunity for all of us to really transcend any emotional heart-related wounding that is going to open us up to bigger, bolder opportunities in love and romance. Venus usually only enters the sign for about 30 days give or take, but this time around, it's in Leo all the way until October, which is a very beautiful energy for love and romance. So that is a reading that's also available right now on my website. If you're interested, check that out. Again, it's called the Venus in Love Reading. Um, let me see. The, also, again, like I said, there's love stories for every single zodiac sign except the ones I have not gotten around to yet that I'm still working on. Bear with me. Uh, let me see. I know there's something that I'm forgetting that there is a current offer at this time. Ah, readings, oracle card readings. So those of you who want a private reading, you want your own personalized reading. Um, I am off. I have one space available. Actually, my space for tomorrow just got filled up. So I have one space available this week on Thursday. You could do that either a live Zoom reading or you could opt for a pre-recorded video reading. Um, so I'll do the reading just as though we were in person, but doing all on a video and then I send it over to you. You have that to watch as many times as you like. With that said, next week, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to book any readings or not. I do have something kind of hanging in the air for the week that I'm not sure if it's going to play out yet. So once I know about that, um, I will, uh, I'll put out there how many opportunities or sessions I have to book available. And I think that might be it for now. My six month reading is still going on. I'm actually going to shut that down after this month because it's only for July through the end of the year. So if you're interested in that, that's something to also check out. It's up on my website. You just might have to dig through a little bit because it's up there in the shop towards the beginning. Um, and it's called my six month ahead reading for the second half of the year. I think that's it. All right, so let's get into it. And all these messages are just flying through so fast. It's not like on my iPad, so I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm going to scroll through all of these comments later on today when I can um, for the for what I've missed. Dawn, thank you for sharing that. Appreciate that. Bridget, I will reach out and uh, check that message out as soon as this is done. Okay, sweetie. Thank you. All right, so with that said, before we get into the reading, just want to kind of ground the energy right now. Um, I don't know about you, but that energy just kind of, you know, trying to three times here, try just frazzled me a little bit. So I most certainly want to ground my energy. Let me see if I have, there we go, my two Chevelles with me. Ooh, it's probably nice and loud for all of you there. So we're going to ground our energy. So we're just going to have everybody create or come into sacred space with me in this present moment and just detach from whatever it is that you have going on safely if you can obviously be mindful of your surroundings yeah third time that's what I was saying the last time I was like third time's the charm watch it'll work then um so I'm gonna have you all just close your eyes if possible and just take a moment to take a nice deep breath in through your nose and release the breath through your mouth Feeling yourself just relax, feeling your body soften. And one more nice deep breath in through your nose. And release. Just envisioning all stress, all worries, all thought just being released at this moment in time coming into this present moment, just in the here and now. One more nice deep breath in. And release. Just dropping out of your mind. Connecting into your heart space and you can place your hands on your heart. 
just feeling in to your own heart center connecting in this moment feeling yourself deepen in your body and relaxing and when you're ready you can open your eyes all right so we should all be nice and grounded now all right so this week is quite an intense week quite an interesting week you know we've had a lot of uh amazing big energetic alignments happening all month long um namely that one with venus and leo um but, you know, uh, from uh, Saturn going retrograde, Pluto jumping back into Capricorn, Neptune going retrograde at the end of the month, and we have the sun shifting out of Gemini moving into Cancer tomorrow, today. Uh, we've also had the new moon this week in Gemini, and uh, we also have the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere tomorrow. We also have the winter solstice in the southern hemisphere tomorrow, so what a powerful energetic alignment just all the all of these cosmic um you know just connections coming in to really facilitate such powerful growth even if you think of you know juneteenth um and the you know essentially what it represents you know everything that goes on and that happens on specific dates even throughout history you know, I, I hear some astrologers sometimes that do the astrological alignments at the certain times and it's it's never a coincidence that these things were all meant to happen when they happened due to whatever cosmic alignments were going on. So thinking in terms of like the freedom, the liberation that happened with that with Juneteenth, think in terms of what the solstice itself is going to bring. Just for instance, in the in the Northern Hemisphere, we are today, or tomorrow, I'm sorry, experiencing the longest day of the year. Um, and as we are having the, uh, you know, the, the, the whole sunlight being at its most potent, and in the Southern Hemisphere, it's the opposite, you're having the longest night, darkest day of the year. Um, and at these times, we're getting ready to transition where after that moment, the light begins to wane and the darkness begins to grow. And until we get to that equinox for the fall of the spring, um, we get to that equinox point where it's that equal day, equal light, and we'll cross over. So it's kind of like a changing out of the guards. So with that said, it brings this powerful opportunity for all of us to transition, to experience the height of our power, to allow ourselves to be re renewed, uh, to be revitalized under this energy. There's so much growth that wants to happen and transformation at this time for all of us. Um, you know, mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. not sure what that was a message. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if you all could hear that on your end. It's supposed to be on silent, but again, <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. Just roll in with it. And I think that's probably a great message. Just roll with it. You know, um, yesterday I spoke of something that fell into alignment with the solstice energy was um, a little robin fledgling landed on my deck yesterday and was like almost like it was having a conversation with me and it was so calm um, and it was you could see that it was trying to find its bearings it had must have just gotten its kick out of the nest because it's time for it to fly but try as it might it would only gain so much momentum and then you know fall back down um so it kept doing this over and over again and i just kept encouraging it and kept telling it you know you can do this you have wings you have the power you have the ability you can fly and it was funny because as i was having that conversation mm -hmm. with the fledgling i don't know what all of these things are going on here today um with all of these uh you know things that were happening um I just kept giving, it always was making me feel like I was talking to myself, like it was my divine self sending me a message to myself, if that makes sense, and helping me to recognize that when something doesn't work right, or when, you know, we've gotten, you know, challenged, or when we've fallen down, it's just an opportunity for us to look at, okay, why didn't it work this way? What am I meant to understand about this? What am I meant to learn from this? And how is this helping me grow? And then we just keep going. It's like when it doesn't work, you try, try again. You know, you've got what you need. 
to succeed, just keep going. And Saturn going into um, retrograde, being the Lord of Karma, our master teacher, is bringing us back around to experiences as well that are showing us where we can fully be liberated from any old patterns or cycles. And with that solstice, that renewal energy coming in, it's helping us to make those leaps, truly taking those blind leaps of faith and just keep going because eventually we're going to be in that perfect alignment and what is meant for us is going to come in and it's just going, we're going to take off and take flight. So I hope that resonates with everybody through all of this <laughs> craziness that keeps happening here on my phone. Um, but with that said, because the animal messengers have been so really powerfully, um, synchronistic for me, I decided to work with the Shapeshifter Oracle by Lucy Cavendish for our message this week. All right, so let's see what's coming forward for us all for this week of June 19th, 2023 as a collective. And what do we all most need to know? What is the magic, the energy, the insight that can best assist us all this week? Wow. All right. So we got a master number 44, which numerology master numbers are numbers that don't get broken down. Um, we take them as sacred and potent as they are amplified by themselves. So a 44 to me always speaks to the master healer energy, which is having mastered or through self mastery through recognition of lessons, through being able to transcend patterns and cycles, and through that higher awareness, we gain the ability to transcend and come into this divine healing, this divine alignment. And that divine alignment essentially is moving us into alignment with our higher self, our higher plan, our true, our true north, if you will. So the eight also speaks to, you know, if you would break it down, being infinite and your soul's infinite potential, your ability to transcend and overcome karmic cycles and karmic debt. It's the strength card in tarot. It is the courageousness, the fearlessness to succeed when we know that we are absolutely capable of achieving and attaining anything that we set our hearts on. There is no such thing as failure. There's only more opportunity to keep going, to keep trying, to keep growing, right? So the card itself, hi, Tammy. Hey, Julie. Welcome, loves. Uh, hi, Heather. Welcome, to. It is the Mermaid of Immersion, and it says complete commitment. Wow. So first and foremost, mermaids, they bring up that connection to the element of water. So all about our emotions. And what did I just say about self mastery? It is, I actually pulled the queen of cups for myself yesterday. And it was a message to me about mastering my emotions that when I get triggered, it was like a, it was kind of like a heads up, like newsflash, you're going to get triggered today. When you do, this is a beautiful opportunity for you to take that step back and acknowledge why you're being triggered. How has that served you in the past and what is it bringing up from your past? How can you make your way through that? How can you maneuver through those watery emotions and instead get grounded, get anchored and self-reflect and then master that and take your power back from it? It's not about the other person or the situations that might have triggered. It is instead about us immersing and, you know, kind of really going, immersing ourselves into the depths of ourselves, into what we experienced and why we have experienced it and what has it been designed to teach us and how can we then grow and transcend from that? What can being asked to make a complete commitment to our transformations, to our soul's truth, to getting very connected. Oh my goodness. Am I back? <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> am I here? Because I'll tell you what, opportunity to master my emotions happening right now. <laughs> so I don't know if you can hear me. I do see some of you are, are here tuned in. Um, but if you want to send me a new comment, just to let me know, 
um, because I, I see only old ones. Yep, there we go. All right, thank you so much. Dit dot welcome. Thank you, Ajillian. Thank you. Wow, what an experience today. Mastering my emotions for sure because. What I would like to do and what I'm going to do are two very completely different things. So, <laughs> the Mermaid of Immersions. Uh, that was our card, just bringing it back for everybody. It's an opportunity for us to get back into alignment with the truth of who we really are. We are not our wounds. We are not our triggers. We are not our circumstances or our experiences. But it is going to take complete commitment and dedication to this new true version of you and to not get pulled back down and into the, you think about being completely immersed in water. What happens? We can feel completely out of our element. We can feel completely overwhelmed. We could feel um, like we're going to drown or like these fears, the unconscious patterns, the fear of the unknown, the triggers, Whatever might be coming up with any um, any experiences this week, any new opportunities, any changes, because change is the big one this week. All solstices facilitate great change and transition. So know that that is inevitable. That is there for us, though. But how we respond to it, how we reflect upon that, is what makes the difference. So about it's about completely immersing, immersing, I can't, I don't know why I can't say this word today, immersing ourselves into the depths of what is coming up. And we can either sink or we can float. That's going to be up to us. And through the floating, through the stillness, through the inner calmness and the inner peace, can we see the golden nuggets of opportunity, wisdom, and uh, light through this tunnel. So committing to ourselves, committing to the new experiences, the opportunity to change ourselves, to change how we respond, to change what we allow, to change where we have maybe violated our own boundaries, to let go of what isn't going to assist us or serve us any longer. Now, with the fact that emotions and water comes up, it does really give me a really big uh, feeling and call towards relationships. And now I don't mean just romantic. This could be relationships with friends, with family, um, and how we engage in the emotions that might be coming up for being triggered. And the reason why I'm saying that is just because not just the, the watery element here um, with the emotional component, but also because the inner child has been really coming forward a lot for for um, like a theme for healing. And our inner child wounding definitely connects with family, with parents, um, but it also, you know, as that trickled into our adult life, uh, it rippled into relationships and we've attracted romantic partnerships more than likely that have mirrored back some of those unconscious woundings. So a lot of this is coming up for our healing, for our transcendence. And as we make, and that's what Venus and Leo is also contributing to is healing the heart, going big and opening up big in love, going bigger and bolder in love where we've never gone before. And that doesn't just mean romance. That means love is all. That means unconditional. That means compassion, forgiveness. And when we can come into those places within ourselves, we can fully immerse ourselves into those who, what, what we've experienced, who we truly are, not what we have, ha have had happen to us or how we feel who we really are is what is now getting the opportunity to be exposed to us, to be revealed to us. And we are not those emotions. We are not those circumstances. We are so much more. And in order to get there, we've got to heal. We've got to understand. We've got to be in the awareness of that. And it helps move us into that alignment of the truth of who we truly are. Our authentic path, which is then our soul's calling, our heart's desires. And then that makes us more available to those experiences that were always meant for us to come into our lives, whether that be through your 
your soul's purpose and financial or career path, whether that be through romantic partnerships, whether that be through what you can attract to you just all around because when our heart is whole and healed, so too is everything around us. And at the end of the day, we always are whole. It's just a matter of remembering those bits about ourselves. That makes sense. So complete commitment to ourselves, to our path. And I feel like it's a complete commitment to this new version of ourselves. It's going to take some serious mastery to not give up when one door shuts, not give up when we hit a challenge, not give up when someone doesn't respond a way that we want them to respond or when someone rejects something about us or whatever that might be or one situation, you know, comes to an end. Don't give up. Push through. Recognize that what's, what, what is meant for you can truly never be lost. It will always be found. Okay, so with that said, before I have any further technical interference today, I'm going to wrap this up. I appreciate all of you bearing with me through this. I hope it looks much cleaner on the replay because going through it, I'm not sure how great it was. But thank you all so very much. If you are interested in a private reading or session with me or even a healing session, don't hesitate to reach out and um, you know send me a message and we can try to schedule something from there. Thank you all. Have a blessed and magical solstice week. Remember that you have everything you need to succeed. You just keep trying. Okay. All right. Take care.